uh, this morning in Connecticut than it is here in Dallas. Something of, something of an oddity. And there is a first goal of the game here, and it's scored by Campbell Puckett, junior attack man. Very good work there by Puckett. So the Scots do break out on top here, even though Mullen has controlled the ball a little more in the first half. I believe that's Cruz with the pass, and here is the shot, and the goal is scored. Mills is going to take it all the way down to the right side. In they go, and another shot, and another goal for the Highland Park Scots. And it is Puckett. Shot and score. And that's his Number second one, goal. Puckett. And Mills, and Mills. excellent uh, job with an assist there as Mills broke out of it, brings it up, up the field here, and then Puckett puts it in the net. So Highland Park continues with this big lead. Oh, here's a steal, and here we come. Is that Fronter House with the ball looking for Boeing in the middle? No, that. I'm sorry, it was Bo It was uh, Puckett with the Number ball. Five, Cody Cruz and looking for Fronter House right over here. Game. And some hard checking down in front. Uh, the Scots very literally come up with it, saved by Campbell Puckett. Good work by Puckett to uh, come out of there with it. Francis. Around behind the goal to uh, Campbell Puckett. And the uh, junior attack man. Scott's on the attack, and they do know how to counter. This is number 18, Campbell Powers. The Scots with a nice offensive opportunity, a chance to score. The ball is swept in and scores. The Scots have one as they break out on top here. An excellent counter after the stop at the other end, and the Scots get the first goal of the contest. And I believe it is uh, Campbell Puckett, number one, Campbell Puckett, the junior attack man for Highland Park, It'll be James Jurgens. Number 34, thank you. Always helps to have spotters who, uh, you know, whether they're involuntary or voluntary, <laughs> voluntary spotters from the other team to help you uh, keep things straight. Another shot here taken by Campbell Puckett this time, and the junior attack man gets the ninth goal of the game for the Scots. Prosper also... Uh, they were able to reschedule that game. Here's a shot and a goal is scored by Campbell Puckett. Puckett, the junior attack man, in quickly to get one for the Scots at 10.02 remaining in the second quarter. The uh, goal scoring around is they have many, many players here who can put it in the net, and here's another one as Campbell. The junior attack man scores for the Scots with 2.22 to go. Quarter. So that's number one, Puckett. And it's seven to nothing, Highland Park. Marks, it'll be the Scots ball. Here's the pass in, and the goal is scored just like that. Campbell Puckett, number one. It just took a few seconds to get it down there and the Scots are jubilant as they break out on top with 9.29 to go here in the first quarter. Let's have another look and he just broke loose there and the defender coming over at the last minute not able to get there in time. They go those very vocal St. Mark's crowd making a lot of noise. Good takeaway here by Campbell Puckett. Puckett looking for Prosper behind the goal. There he is. We get a whistle. And it will go against the Scots. It'll be St. Mark's ball. 11 minutes to play in the game. We'll keep a close eye on the clock. And this uh, timeout situation. St. Mark's will have one timeout remaining. Coach Thompson has not used any of his timeouts yet, I believe, here in the second half. Coming up from the, uh, from the D2 ranks. And I guess uh, I'm sure some from the, uh, from the JV rosters. Turnaround effort. Nice pass inside. And it was Campbell Puckett, number one. Beautiful feed there by Cody Cruz, who gets an assist. And Campbell Puckett, one of those juniors who will return to the Scots team next year. Gets the goal, and we can't say enough about the assist there by Cody Cruz, a Scots senior. Rangers here in the state semifinals. Division one lacrosse, Highland Park racing up the field, and they are definitely on their A game today. Here's a turnaround shot, another goal is scored by the Highland Park Scots. Campbell Puckett to the Division I All-State team. Chase Prosper, Campbell Powers, Josh Francis, Chris Hips, Jackson Kuhn, and Jordan. Dan Morris in goal for Jesuit. He's only a freshman, so you know, let's remember his name. 
And here comes Highland Park, maybe a chance here. It is number 33, Parker Brown. Brown passes off, goal scored by Campbell Puckett, number one. Semifinals are from the Metroplex. St. Mark's, Highland Park, and Jesuit, along with Houston Episcopal. Lacrosse is uh, pretty popular in Houston, too, though. We'll amplify on that more. That's Will Boeing with it. Boeing, oh, nice pass inside, and uh, very, very well taken there by Campbell Puckett. Just almost looked nonchalant, didn't he? Kind of looked up, looked down, and went, whoop, there we go. Just bounce it in there. Let's have another look at this. There is Will Boeing uh, with that pass. Nice pass, a little bit off balance, too. And look at this. See, uh, look, looks like he's going to shoot high. Now let's take it down low. Bounces it right in there. Lee still in goal for Highland Park. Good stick check there by number one, Campbell Puckett. Tonight, is, as we well know, there are a number of Campbells on the, uh, on the Scots team. Shot, and I think that one is in there, and that would be one of our Campbells, Campbell Puckett. Campbell Puckett, number one, gets the goal with 2.23 left to play in. And let's see where Josh Francis decides to go. He may just come in there and try to get it to uh, in for a shot, and it's to Campbell Puckett, who scores. And, and it is stopped by the Woodlands with two seconds remaining in the quarter. Scott's get the restart, and I think the clock, oh my, is this going to count or not? It was right at the buzzer. Francis. Francis is going to come in there. I think he's going to take the shot. He blasts it, and it is saved. Good job by the Woodlands. But the Scots get another opportunity, and this time they put it in there. Those all-important Division I district games against ESD and St. Mark's, the Scots will have a much-heralded uh, trip back to New Jersey. You remember the, the trip last year and how much fun that was. Well, they've got one coming up again as they will – play at Giant Stadium in the uh, opening of Giant Stadium. Here's a shot and a save. Oh, the ball goes flying in there at the other end. That is the end of the game. The one sounds and look at the celebration. If you think that these Scots aren't a fired up bunch at the end of this contest and that they aren't jubilant about winning, well, the pictures just tell the story, don't they? Oh, my, the third consecutive championship for the Highland Park Scots. And that's only the second time in history that that has happened. And what the fans have stormed the field, and it is a fantastic finish to the season for the Highland Park Scots. 18 seniors enjoy the title today, along with eight juniors and Coach Thompson and his staff. What a terrific job they've done. John Newton and Chris Van Dorn, the assistant coaches. Uh...